South Africans mourn the death of Winnie Mandela, the ex-wife of former South African President Nelson Mandela. The 81-year-old died in the hospital yesterday after a long illness. Deborah Pata reports for WJZ with a look back at her life. Winnie Mandela kept South Africa's anti-apartheid struggle alive and won a huge victory when her husband Nelson Mandela was released from prison in 1990 after 27 years. My husband has been fighting for the liberation of the African people, for the working harmoniously of all the racial groups in this country. When Nelson first met Winnie, she was just 20 years old. He said it was like he was struck by a thunderbolt. They were married for 38 years, together during some of South Africa's darkest days. Nelson went on to become the country's first black president, the father of the nation. She was known as the nation's mother. But she was always a controversial figure, often because of her fiery rhetoric. We bring up the white man's children. We could have killed them any day we wanted to. Her reputation was tarnished after a conviction for kidnapping and assault. Her bodyguards killed a 14-year-old boy. She denied any involvement. Her six-year jail term was reduced to a fine. In 1992, Winnie's marriage to Nelson fell apart, but she was there for important moments. At his 90th birthday celebration, and again when he marked his 20-year release from prison, and finally in 2013 when he was laid to rest. Deborah Patter, CBS News, Johannesburg, South Africa. Winnie Mandela had been in and out of the hospital for the last few months.